Tonight on Documentify TV, we are looking at evidence from Romania that changes our understanding of early human history in Europe. At a place called Graunciano in the Oltetz River Valley, scientists have made a significant discovery. They have found proof that early human relatives, known as hominins, were living here almost two million years ago. This is important because based on current evidence, Graunciano is now the oldest confirmed site showing hominin activity anywhere in Europe. It pushes back the date for when we know hominins were present on the continent. What was this area like back then, nearly two million years ago? Fossil evidence tells us it wasn't dense forest or icy plains. It was likely a mix of grasslands and woodlands, what scientists call temperate forest steppe. Many types of animals lived here. Fossils found include mammoths, rhinoceroses, extinct types of European monkeys, ostriches, giraffes, saber-toothed cats, and hyenas. Over time, river floods buried and preserved the bones of these animals in layers. The key evidence for hominin presence comes from specific marks found on some of these animal bones. Under careful examination, scientists identified V-shaped cuts. These are different from the U-shaped marks often left by animal teeth. V-shaped marks are known to be characteristic of cuts made by sharp stone tools used for butchering. To be sure, researchers used advanced technology. They created detailed 3D scans of the marks. They then compared these scans to a large collection of known marks. Marks made experimentally with stone tools, marks from carnivore teeth, and damage from natural processes like tumbling in a river. This comparison confirmed that the marks on at least eight of the Graunciano bones strongly matched those made by stone tools. These marks were found mainly on the bones of hoofed animals, like deer, in places where muscles would have attached. This pattern clearly suggests the animals were being butchered, likely for meat. How old is this evidence? Scientists determined the age using a method called uranium-lead dating. They applied it to small fragments of animal teeth found in the same layers as the marked bones. The results established a minimum age for the site at least 1.95 million years old. This date is crucial. At 1.95 million years old, Graunciano is significantly older than the previously oldest confirmed hominin sites in Western Europe, which date to around 1.4 million years ago. It places hominin activity in Romania at roughly the same time as the well-known Dimanisi site in Georgia. This suggests that the arrival and spread of hominins into Europe may have happened earlier and perhaps involved different routes or patterns than previously thought. But there's a missing piece. While we have clear evidence of what these hominins were doing, butchering animals, we haven't found their fossil remains at Granchianu. So who were they? Based on the age and because fossils of Homo erectus were found at the similarly dated Dimanisi site, Scientists infer that the Graunciano toolmakers were likely Homo erectus, or a very closely related species. However, this is an interpretation based on other evidence, not direct proof from the Romanian site itself. The Graunciano discovery provides solid, factual evidence for very early hominin activity in Europe. It tells us they were in Romania, using tools, nearly two million years ago. It opens up new questions about how and when the first humans spread across Eurasia. Why does there seem to be a long gap in the European record after this early evidence? Finding the answers will require more research and potentially more discoveries, especially in regions like Southeastern Europe, which may hold further keys to understanding this distant part of our shared past. That's it for today's video, folks. See you next time, right here on Documentify TV.